So what were the weather conditions when your parents left? The, the uh, day they left, again, they left about 12 noon, July 4th, 1977. From the perspective of the weather in Traverse City, when they left, and generally for the whole uh, state that we knew of in the Lower Peninsula, it was a beautiful day. It was one of those days that uh, warm, people were out to the beaches, swimming, uh, a little few clouds in the sky, just a, a memorable day. And of course, because I can focus on the details, I do remember that. And, and I remember being in Traverse City at a friend's house on... Uh, either Arbutus or Spider Lake and watching the sunset going down and, and remarking about what a great, perfect day for the holiday for 4th of July. Wow. Yeah, very nice. So you, you say your father didn't like to fly over water. Correct. Uh, he, he even went to the extremes that being a good pilot and I started taking lessons that uh, you always look ahead and behind you for a landing place. And you had to remember the, the topography. And uh, he would say, now we're coming up on the Detroit River or Saginaw in a bay and a glide path, if we lost power now, would, would get us a quarter, half a mile away. So he'd never want to get anywhere near a large body of water. He'd go around the outside edge of it so that if he'd lost power, he could land either onshore or, or, you know, in a clear area. So, didn't like water. How did your mother feel about flying? Petrified. She she only went because he went. If she had a choice, she wouldn't go. But uh, towards uh, the end there, uh, he was near six months from retirement and was able to afford half of this airplane. So, they started doing a lot more trips, overnight trips in the airplane. So, she didn't want to be home, and yet she didn't want to fly, but she went along. But she never showed any interest in learning navigation or taking over the controls, which she should have, you know, well, what do I do if you get ill, or can you hold the, hold the wheel for me while I check the map or chart? But wouldn't want anything to do with flying. What would you like to see happen? Well, I would like to have the plane recovered, and, and my mother and dad, of course, and uh, it's been now... 35 years uh, from 1977 and uh, it's the closure thing and, and being a retired policeman and now working for a funeral home uh, I see that firsthand a lot how difficult it is not to have closure uh, uh, of someone that's missing and it, it truly is harder than accepting the death itself you know we, at least there's some you know some some sort of a end of the story here, you know, and you know, I'll never know, perhaps, you know, in my lifetime, you know, what happened and why. 